If alien civilizations are hidden out there, how do we detect them? As British-American physicist Freeman Dyson had argued once, it would be much more rewarding to search directly for intelligence, but technology is the only thing we have any chance of seeing. If you can't detect aliens themselves, look for the next best thing, their signatures. And what could be these signatures? A high-tech aerial object swooshing across our skies, news by the dozen of which keeps coming these days. How about something more solid and mighty? Welcome to the powerhouses that are known as Dyson Spheres. And if recent news is to be believed, our scientists might have found a Dyson Sphere built by an alien species, around other stars. Is this the essential proof that scientists have been searching for ages, to prove the existence of alien life? Does this finally prove that we are not alone? Welcome to Lab 360. It's time to explore. A Dyson Sphere is a sphere made of mirrors or solar cells that completely surrounds a star, thus harnessing every bit of energy coming from it, not just a fraction as we do now. It gets its name from Freeman Dyson, who proposed this idea. A Dyson Sphere. It's a very old theory, number one. I'm not surprised that you haven't heard of it. In the 20th century, a physicist called Freeman Dyson postulated the theory that an enormous hollow sphere could be constructed around a star. Any population living on the interior surface would have virtually inexhaustible sources of power. In a 1960 paper in which he first put out this idea, Dyson wrote, one should expect that, within a few thousand years of its entering the stage of industrial development, any intelligent species should be found occupying an artificial biosphere, which completely surrounds its parent star. Sounds like science fiction, doesn't it? Well that's because it is. According to Dyson, he took this idea from Olaf Stapledon's 1937 novel, Star Maker. Dyson also stated that such a Dyson sphere would emit heat as one of the waste byproducts, and such waste heat could be detected as infrared radiation. He suggested that probing sources of infrared radiation out there could lead to a possible clue towards detecting Dyson spheres themselves. Now a new study that observed 5 million stars in the Milky Way is claiming that 7 of those could be hosting Dyson spheres. This claim has sent the scientific community in a frenzy, with scientists meticulously scrutinizing the research to verify the claims, and proposing other possible natural alternatives which could explain the observations and preempt the possibility of it being a Dyson sphere. The research group in question had specifically set out to look for possible infrared sources around stars, which could not be explained any other way except them being Dyson spheres. They gathered historical data of close to 5 million stars lying within 1,000 light-years of Earth, from two active space telescopes looking in infrared light, the Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer, or WISE, from NASA and Gaia from the European Space Agency. They zeroed down on seven red dwarf stars from this humongous set of stars that had an infrared glow associated with them, which could not be attributed to any other naturally occurring phenomenon. The Dyson Sphere, apart from other natural phenomena, could explain such an infrared glow. What other natural things could be behind this infrared glow? There could be planets colliding in those stellar systems, which is creating debris that is shining in infrared light. Another explanation is that the stars in question are too young, and hence surrounded by disks of hot dust from which planets would form in time, and complete their respective stellar systems. This hot debris is what could be glowing in infrared light. And the only telescope that can shed more light on the origin of these Dyson spheres would be our champion, the James Webb Space Telescope. Its task would now be to study these seven red dwarves more, and try to find possible reasons for the infrared glow. In fact, a paper has already been published in response to this research, 
identifying the infrared glow from three out of seven stars, to be coming from hot dust that is obscuring galaxies. The idea of the Dyson Sphere has evolved over the years. Dyson himself had later improvised on his original idea of these hypothetical megastructures, with a Dyson Sphere coming to mean an enormous swarm of objects, traveling in independent orbits around their star. This is a more viable design for a Dyson Sphere, as a rigid shell would be more vulnerable to impacts, and could come crashing. Being made of multiple small panels would give the Dyson Sphere the flexibility it needs to survive the dangers of space. The Sun itself is so huge, that 1300,000 Earths could fit inside the Sun. You can imagine, a shell surrounding the Sun would have to be much bigger than that, and ginormous would be an understatement for such a structure. If ever created in the distant future, a Dyson Sphere would be the largest man-made structure in the universe. Now let's understand why Dyson Spheres are such a big deal. 30 quadrillion satellites of one square kilometer each, would be required to build a Dyson Swarm around our Sun. Let alone resources available on Earth, an entire other planet like say, Mercury will have to be dismantled to get material enough to build that many satellites. Then, we'll also need to launch these quadrillion satellites to the Sun. Even if we used all the fossil fuels and uranium available on Earth with 100% efficiency, we would still only be able to rocket launch mass equal to Mount Everest to space, leave alone dismantling an entire planet, and launching satellites made out of it. A path-breaking technology like an electromagnetic railgun, which would slingshot the satellites into orbit, would be needed instead of rockets. To conclude, the technological know-how and resources needed to build such a megasphere, are far beyond humanity's reach at this stage. Some people have suggested that a swarm of self-replicating robots, could potentially do the job in the far future. The presence of such a Dyson Sphere around other stars, therefore, would be indicative of an extremely advanced extraterrestrial civilization. A Dyson Sphere is more than just a way to harness all of the energy from our star. It represents a truly giant leap from a planetary species to an interstellar species. A species which has left the shores of its planet to sail into the infinite cosmic ocean between the stars out there. Though it might sound absurd right now, probably every science fiction idea did sound so when it was first proposed. A century ago, space exploration would have sounded impossible, but we're taking steps towards going back not just to the moon, but even Mars now. Mobile phones, artificial intelligence, cloning, 3D printing, driverless cars, all these were perhaps once dismissed as figments of imagination of a few gifted creative minds. But these are now not just reality, but a part of our daily life. So you never know, but again, coming back to the latest research, the fact that we don't yet know, what the infrared glow around these seven stars is because of, doesn't mean it has to be a Dyson Sphere. It could mean there's not enough data regarding the source. It could also mean it's a novel natural astronomical source, which we didn't hitherto know about. And that too is a fascinating and exciting discovery. Every unexplained observation in astronomy could lead to a thrilling new discovery. And we can't wait to know what new discoveries are uncovered next. Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And be sure to subscribe to the channel for the latest revelations in space exploration. Hit the bell icon to stay updated, and let's continue to explore together.